Welcome to Starry Night Software. In these videos, we'll be exploring some of the special events you can view in Starry Night. In this video, we use Starry Night to learn more about the current explosion in solar activity. Recently, solar flares have featured prominently in the media. News stories tell us to expect everything from massive disruptions to navigation, power, and communication systems to spectacular displays of northern lights. What is this activity? And how does it affect us here on Earth? The huge tendrils of gas that erupt from the sun are solar prominences. They can reach thousands of miles above the surface. If this material escapes the sun completely, it's called a coronal mass ejection, or CME. At all other times, there is a constant gentle flow of particles from the sun, called the solar wind. It pushes and stretches Earth's magnetic field into a vast, comet-shaped region called the magnetosphere. As the solar wind flows past the magnetosphere, it produces millions of amps of electric current, which excites molecules in the Earth's upper atmosphere and creates the mysterious and beautiful aurora, or northern lights. If a CME encounters the Earth, the aurora flare up, becoming brighter and reaching further from the poles. These auroral oval maps show you how far from the poles the aurora currently reach, and where on Earth's surface you will be able to see them. Solar flares are massive bursts of radiation from the sun's surface, blasting radio waves, gamma radiation, and x-rays into space. Flares are classified according to how much x-ray radiation they produce. The ones that make the news are M-class flares, which can cause radio interference and blackouts in the polar regions of the Earth, and X-class flares, which can result in radiation storms that cause global power disruptions. If you're on the surface of the Earth, the planet's magnetic field protects you from lethal doses of solar radiation. If you're an astronaut in orbit around the Earth, you have very little protection. Solar flares are a very real danger to people and technology outside the protection of Earth's magnetic field. As we've become more dependent on satellites and sensitive electronics, the potential for disruption has increased. For example, a magnetic storm in 1989 caused the collapse of the Hydro-Quebec power grid, resulting in nine hours of power loss for six million people and substantial economic damage. Solar storms, flares, and prominences are associated with the sun's 11-year cycle of activity. The next high point in this cycle, called solar maximum, is predicted for early 2013, so for the next couple of years, things on the sun are going to heat up. 